save and close. And then let's just make one invoice with this to see the next process. Our main point is now I'm gonna invoice and this would be done in a job cost system like a law firm or a bookkeeping firm, possibly weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. And we're gonna say, okay, based on the timesheet, I'm gonna pull in this information to 3005. There's our sub, our sub customer. And, and so I'm gonna go tab. So the information pulls in. It says, hey, you've got this, I'm paraphrasing, of course. I've, you've got this item to add here for the billable time. I'm gonna go great, pull that in, because that's what we're trying to do here. And then tab, 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 30 day. And we'll say, let's say the date is on 01323. And so let's keep that at the date. And, and then it pulls in the time down below. So it pulled in the time. Notice that this is an item that is now pulled in that we made. We made that item particularly for Adam to bill out Adam's time. And we're billing out the eight hours here for that particular uh, job that went to this particular client. The rate is $100, which was populated in the item that we set up for Adam. And, uh, and then the amount, and then it's not taxable because the item said it wasn't taxable. It's got this link showing that it came from the billable item. So what's this gonna do? It's an invoice, increase accounts receivable. The other side, go into the revenue account driven by the item, service revenue, no taxes applied. Also, we're gonna have the sub ledger for the receivables impacted because now this customer is gonna owe us and it's gonna be applied to the job. So we could run reports you know, uh, by the job or the sub customer. So let's save and close that and check it out.